You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for the first park of our Scandinavia summer trip. I cannot wait. We are here at Joe's Summerland for our first ever visit. This park opened here in Denmark back in 1981. It's expanded every year with new attractions and now includes eight different roller coasters. It's lovely like on the main entrance and seeing like all the rides around here. It is, yeah, the plaza's great. I love how we can see pirates just, just behind so us. Nice. Yeah, I've heard a lot about this coaster. I'm really excited. I just want to say thank you to the park for thank providing you. us with our mission today. It's really kind of them and also allowing us to film on ride. Yes. Lots of POVs coming up in the vlog here from our first ever visit to Joe's Summerland. Here's a look then at the main entrance to the park. Lovely music playing here and yeah I like the coaster mural on the side there as well and also featuring some of the other rides here at the park. And yeah, look at this, just off to the left, we've got the inverted coaster from Intamin. Dragon King, I think it translates to. It's an absolutely lovely entrance here. And yeah, having two big coasters at either side really is a great way to welcome you into the park. Now, when we come to a park for the first time, it's always great to look at the map and see exactly where we're going. I think we know where the first stop's going to be, though, just off to the right here, Pyroton. But as you can see, it's quite a large park, lots of different themed areas, as you can see, all up there listed at the top. And yeah, in this vlog, we'll head round and get in as much as we can do. The park's open 10 a.m. through until 8 p.m. And it doesn't seem too busy so far, so I think we're going to be okay. But yeah, down here at the left, you've got the new dinosaur area that's new for 2022. I mean, it's all new for us, but yeah, looking forward to that. It's got a Mac powered coaster. Down here at the back, I've heard a lot about this, Jubilin, which is actually an Intamin family launch coaster. I can't wait for that. There's a Mac uh, water coaster just over here as well. First impressions, I really like it. Really, really nice. There's a lot of attractions, really. Yeah, I think I read there's like 43 attractions, something it's like really that. It's good because it spreads people out, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it seems like they opened the park a little bit earlier, let you onto this little plaza holding area just here. And then, yeah, we'll take a right uh, round to Pyroton. At least we know where we're going for our first attraction. Not far to go. But yeah, as you can see, we've got all like, the little huts around. And then, yeah, they've put the uh, little rope across just there before letting us into the park. But yeah, this is lovely. Really nice. The music's very chilled out. Pirate land, round to the right. There we go. That's where we're going to be going. Yeah, this opened back in 2008 with a huge ride, Pyroton. Oh, look at that beast. Here we go then. It's just gone 10 o'clock. Time for our first ride. It's Pyroton. Zero to five minute wait. A few people just running down, but I'm so excited for this. Yeah, I've actually done a clone of this. The Intamin Megalite at Happy Valley over in China. That wasn't the best day. Hopefully we're in for a better day than that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Manufactured by Intamin. Opened in 2008. Features lap bars. And look at this great theming around here as well. Oh, I was going down the extended way. Massive skull and crossbones. Really looking forward to this. Oh god, the station's literally just here. Right, let's go and get on. Woo! Oh, no mess about. Great operations on two trains as well. And here we go. Oh, cable lift hill. Look at this, how open the trains are. Nice little lap bar. It's actually only just over 100 foot tall this, but it's gonna have some good air time. We're gonna get whipped down this drop. We're on the back. Here we go. Pirateton. Imagine when that's been warming up. So Some really good injector air on that. Brilliant. But well, we ran straight back round and had a second go on there. 10 past 10, we've had two rides on Pyroton. That ride did not disappoint. Oh, it's such a great ride, but when you come down the drop, like it is quite intense, like grey out moments as you go back up, but really good ride, loved it. Yeah, especially, you know, the bottom of that drop. It's only just over 100 foot tall, but you go fast. into that turn, yeah. you know, really good steep banking on that. And the airtime on there is fantastic. Really good, yeah. Especially them bunny hills as well later on during the ride. It's a great ride, it'll warm up so much as well. It is, yeah, it's one of them that's gonna get better 
better as the day goes on. It's a brilliant ride. I tell you what, the staff here are fantastic. Oh, really good. They're all wearing pirate costumes in this area as yeah. well, which really adds to it. And they're doing like all pirate they're moves, got, like, got swords. swords oh, going like that, absolutely yeah. brilliant. I'm loving it so far. Great start to the day. So we're continuing here in the pirate themed area with a nice water ride. Yes, second ride of the day. Look at this. It's a Mack water coaster that opened back in 2011. And yeah, this is lovely. Nice clean water there as well. And yeah, it's called Scatton. It actually translates to Treasure Island from Danish. Oh, no. look at this. You're looking forward to this, Charlotte? No. <laughs> Oh, I know, yeah. Tell you what, though, it's not baking hot over here. Back in the UK now, there's some big high temperatures. Over here, it's nowhere near as cold as it was last time we were in Denmark, but it's still not baking hot either. But yeah, I think we can go on this water ride. I'm looking forward to this. Straight on there, no queue at all. Look at the animatronic skeleton. <laughs> He's cool. We're on the front row for Charlotte as well, even better. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one lift deal, one drop special. Look at this, oh wow. Big octopus. Oh, um, that is awesome. The theming here is fantastic. I go as far to say this is better themed than Poseidon at Europa Park. This is lovely. Oh, great view from the left. Look at this. Another ride that would be perfect to Alton Towers. I said that with Pyroton to Charlotte, but can we have both of these Alton Towers, please? <laughs> They'd both be amazing. Here we are in the forest. Are you ready, Charlotte? Hunt up just here. We'll get that down, shall we? <laughs> Whee! Water coaster with a view. Look at the view. Oh, that is spectacular. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Very smooth. It's a bit smoother than Poseidon, I know that. Woo! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, here's me expressing a light sprinkle. That was quite a bit, that was. Oh, <laughs> oh that was good fun. That was fantastic, and the theming round here is really good. So here's Charlotte. I'm soaked. Yeah, to be honest, you don't normally get much of a wave coming yeah, over, but. That, that, I am soaked. Yeah, normally, you know, you don't get that well on the Mack Water Coaster. Who so. was on the front row? Yeah, I think mean, that was why, to be honest. And you've got to think, it was quite tall and built up a lot of speed as yeah, well. It did. Um, no, that was fantastic. Love this little viewing area just here. It's actually just so they can evac people here if they need to, but yeah, that's really cool. Uh -huh. The theming is fantastic here. Now look at that drop tower, it's one of those that tilt well, side to side. Yeah, this park, oh, I am really enjoying it so far. Can't believe I've never been, to be honest. Obviously, we was in Denmark back in April, but this park hadn't opened yet for the season. Hey, yeah, look at that really tilted. Weird, yeah, it? yeah, do you want to have a go, Charlotte? Yeah, yeah let's go and have a go on that whilst we're here. There's nobody waiting. <laughs> Charlotte's first time going on one of these that tilts. So yeah, at first it starts off with multiple drops. But then, yeah, the sword will then go side to side. I did one of these at Family Park in Austria. <laughs> oh, pirate in the background there. Yeah, it's called Sablan. Look at the big claw just here. Oh, great theming. Oh, here we go. The tilt begins. <laughs> I think you're thinking, what is going on up there? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> what a great little ride. Whee! I'm going again on the sword. Whee! Get some lovely views. <laughs> some lovely views. <laughs> oh, it looks like you had a good time there. Brilliant. It was such a long cycle as well. I've got loads of drops. Yeah, it was looked really nice really, that day. Really enjoyed that. Well, this pirate area is fantastic. You've also got a little rocking tug over there as well. And off to the left here, there's a mini log flume as well, which is really cool. Here it comes, even the little pirate boats on here. <laughs> yeah, the decoration of this park and the landscaping is really nice. Yeah, it's lovely. 
<laughs> I like the palm trees and look at that view of pirate in there. Oh, it's amazing. They've actually got an octopus ride over there as well. So yeah, I'm sure I'll give that a go later on. Oh, we've got the park mascots just over here. Hey, oh, it's nice to see them out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> here we go, we're making our way into Wild Asia next. No, we're not back at Chessington. That was a few days ago. But yeah, looking forward to this. Dragon King, it's known as. This opened in 2017. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I've never done one of these before. It's an Intamin family suspended coaster. One of only two in the world. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. Oh, this looks really good. So yeah, obviously it looks very similar to Vekoma when their family coasters with the train design. But yeah, it's an Intamin ride. So kind of trying to move more into the family market with this. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. So we've got Juvelin to get on later as well. So we've got the little safari bus. It's actually like Wild Asia at Chessington. There you go. <laughs> theming here is on point at this park. That's the word of the vlog, theming. Yeah. How long's the wait? 15 minutes. Here we go. That. Oh, that was really cool. Well, yeah, there was a great ambience in that station, really bassy audio playing. That was a good start, that wasn't it? Oh, that's a good view there. Uh, amazing. There's the Instrument Gyro Swing over there. We've got another little junior coaster, Log Flume. Let's see how this rides. Quite a steep drop. Let's go. a bit more forceful than I was expecting actually. Really good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I think the seats have got a little bit of an awkward rattle. Yeah, awkward. A bit of a vibration. Vibrate yeah, rattle. but nothing uncomfortable. But yeah, it just vibrates a little bit. Maybe because of how this has been designed. Yeah. So that was really good fun and the pre-lift section on there was my favourite. I really wasn't expecting that. That was really good inside. It was a longer ride than I was expecting yeah, too. It, was, it just kept going and going. Yeah, there was a lot of areas kind of dug down around this wild Asia see. area. Yeah, you just can't see them when you're in the queue or before you actually get onto the ride. Uh, yeah, the rattle wasn't anything too concerning, uh, but for a ride that only opened in 2017, yeah. you know, I do worry about its long-term future. It does seem like Intamin do struggle to perfect their designs with inverted coasters. So, yeah. yeah, they've done quite a few now where they've got a bit of a rattle. Uh, but still, I did enjoy it. It was longer really and better than I was expecting. And yeah, the ambience of the station, really good. how it launched out, kind of. I wasn't expecting it. No, I wasn't either. It was a great ride, really good fun. So there's another coaster down here in this area, a little junior coaster called Jungle Rally. You like the trains on this, don't you? <laughs> yeah, a little Zero Force coaster, opened in 2018. Let's go, hey! Fan of the channel that's over there. Here was a good bit of theming in the middle here, look. Little vehicle down there, I saw a tuk-tuk just. <laughs> oh, a little pop to that time. Just a standard layout, this one. But breaks quite a lot when it comes through the station. Just wanted to say, I love the track colour of that invert that we just did as well. Very nice track colour. Whoa! Whoa. Hey. <laughs> it just gets going. You want a bit more, and then it breaks it coming through the station. Yeah, it's just for kids, though, isn't it? Little junior coaster. Operations are fantastic here from what we've seen so far. We're still in the first hour of the day. This is our fourth coaster. Charlotte did the flat as well. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, train design wins it for me on that. 
perfect mix of rides here at this park, including another water ride. Oh, here in Wild Asia. How do you feel about this one? I am not impressed. <laughs> the splash on here is unbelievable. To be honest, I think it just comes out to the side. Well, I hope so. Well, I think it's called Long Kun. That's what it says on the side just there. So yeah, it's kind of a ride on Long Kun. It's Long Kun Expedition. Got to be careful how you say this one. Let's go on. So we're starting off nice and calm here with some nice elephants off to the side. Lovely theming, yeah, everything's really nicely looked after. What did make me laugh in the station just was, oh, oh my God! <laughs> I was expecting that. First time visit got sprayed. I was just about to say there was a member of staff spraying people in the station. Oh God, I wasn't expecting the elephant there. His trunk got me. Oh, it's quite a big drop. Where are we going? Whoa! Oh, oh, it's one of them where the water came out to the side mostly. No, it didn't. Look at this. No, you should look have sat in the that. front. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> looks like it's a three drop special. We got a, another one just here. This looks like a small one where it soaks you. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got. Oh, no. Shouldn't have sat in the back there, should you? <laughs> you know what? Is this the same layout as uh, as Great Yarmouth one? I, I'm pretty sure it is actually now because you got that first drop, then you got the smaller second one, and then actually I've just looked as well. It's got like a metal trough. I think this is the same layout as the Great Yarmouth one. <laughs> Third and final drop now, the big finale, and we got something special coming up next that I can't wait for. There we go. Woo! Oh, oh, lovely. <laughs> I tell you what, if it wasn't just the two of us in the boat, we'd have got absolutely dripping on that. <laughs> That's it, long con. Oh, here we go. Ready? Oh, oh brilliant. There you go. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Well, that was a great log flume, three job special, and I tell you what, I can't wait for now. An absolutely huge flat ride, Tiger Run, yes. Loki at Lissiburg is my number one flat ride. And yeah, this is the exact same thing, a humongous intervening gyro swing with just lap bars as well. Look at this, the swing, the height of it, absolutely fantastic. And yeah, the theming of this is brilliant around here as well with the waterfall down here at the bottom. It's still here in the Wild Asia area. And you know what the best thing is, folks? I'm really proud of Charlotte now. She is actually gonna come on and give this a go. I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. What, what made you feel like going on? I just feel like I've never seen one before, so I thought like I didn't just give it a go, but yeah. I probably won't go on one again. No, no, Charlotte is a big uh, fan of the flat ride. So now we have a bit of a joke with the water rides, but in all seriousness, you know, with these big flat rides, she's not a huge fan. To be fair though, the cycle doesn't look really long, so I think she's going to be okay, but we'll find out as we take you on Tiger and just here. Look at the queue line here. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so proud of Charlotte right now for coming on this because it is a big ride. Yeah, all you've got is this little lap bar and you have got the bars down the side. But yeah, they don't restrict you. Are you okay, Charlotte? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Here we go. The way to see it is the cycle isn't really long if you don't like it. It's a beast of a ride. It's already tall. Oi. Love a good gyro swing. Oh. Yeah, we're about Maelstrom height now. Oh, you get the air time. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at him. Wow. Oh, it's like you're going to fly out. Oh. Brilliant. Oh. Wow. Okay, viewers. I think that's it now. We're going to slow down. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was good. There's our shadow down there. Tiger and Are you okay? Oh, wow. That's a great ride, that is. Oh, I am so proud of Charlotte. How did you find that? It was really weird having lap bars. I wasn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Still, I gave it a go. You did, and that's the thing. You know, I always say this. You know, yeah. give things a go. If you don't like them, you know then, don't you? Scary. Yeah, Tiger, and what a brilliant flat ride. I absolutely love that. And the views from on there, amazing. I see. Well, what a 90 minutes we've had to start the day. Yeah, we've, done loads. we've packed so much in. So, yeah, I've come for a nice fish and chips just here now. Here we go. Looks uh, quite interesting, this. So yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's more like a hash brown or something. But uh, here we go. See, so, yeah, I'm going to tuck into this just under nine pounds for fish and chips. See, so, yeah, I'm going to tuck into this here in the pirate area. And then we'll uh, carry on getting some more rides in. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. I wasn't too sure when the fish came out, but no, that was really nice, that. Made our way now here to Mexico land. Look at this. Nice themed flat ride. And yeah, looking forward to Juvelin. It means jewel in English. Oh, oh my God. Look at that, it squirts you. Oh, look at that. It's right at head level as well. Oh my God, that is a soaker. That looks great, that does. But yeah, here it is, looking forward to this. Everybody always talks about this ride, Juvelin. And yeah, looking forward to giving this a try. It's an Intamin family launch coaster where you sit on a quad bike yeah 15 minute wait for this <laughs> brilliant queue line for this ride loads of fantastic decorations to look at and here we go look at the train design for this opened in 2013 this ride and we're going to be sat on these quad bikes just here yeah a little lap bar that comes over the top into in special let's go two launches here we go then look at this there's charlotte on the quad bar look at her it's brilliant he's got this little lap bar down here and that's it we are off Whee! Adios, amigos! Oh. <laughs> wow, look at this! Apparently it reached the top speed of 52 miles an hour, this! Oh, this is atmospheric! Oh, wow! Fantastic. That was my favourite ride of the park, that was. I tell you what, that's exactly what Hagrid should have been at Universal yeah, for me. Know. You know, because obviously that's, you know, it's manufactured by Intamin. Um, you're not sat on, well, without a quad bike, not a motorbike, but what I loved with that is how it just boosted you straight into it. You know, that was absolutely fantastic. Over the water, the waterfalls. That is a brilliant family roller coaster, that is, with a good thrill, family thrill. Awesome, that. Low to the ground, terrain hugging ride. Epic. So glad that that ride lived up to the hype. Everybody always talks about it. I remember watching the construction of it. It rides brilliant. Honestly, that was really good. Definitely my favourite ride here. Oh, it was awesome. That was a brilliant family coaster. Transition it was fantastic. Was brilliant. Yeah, it was. And what I love with that as well is how it doesn't slow you down for the second launch. It boosts it just you. Keeps going. I really yeah. like that. You know, I compare it to Hagrid's because obviously it's the same manufacturer and the fact with the seating position being similar. Uh, but that is what annoys me a little bit on Hagrid. Stop, too start. Much, yeah. With this, it just kept boosting you all it's the like way through. Low down to the ground and like oh, over excellent. the water. I bet you it. got close to that waterfall. I didn't want it to end to be honest. Yeah like it was absolutely amazing Lovely. that was. That's got to be one of the world's best family roller coasters. Really really good. Unique design, brilliant ride. There's not many of those out there. There's only two ways to sit on quad bikes. 
There's another one over in the States at SeaWorld where you sat on like a jet ski. Uh, but yeah, I love that style really, of ride. I really, really enjoyed uh, it. It was fantastic. So fun. And watching the construction of it all them years ago, um, you know, I've always wanted to get on there and give it a ride. And finally, it's great to uh, say we've been I on there. It. Yeah, really liked it. Wow. Time for another coaster ride then now, right next door, we've made our way into the Vikings themed area now for Thor's Hammer. Look at the canoes over there, Charlotte. There you go, just spotted the little canoes. Oh, we've got to do that. Look at that. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh she's splashing them. <laughs> that looks good fun. But yeah, here we go, Thor's Hammer. Nice little restaurant up there as well. Kurslar Bobsled Coaster. This opened back in 2002. Love the canoes over there. There's a massive goat up there on the roof. Look at the size of him. Oh, here we go. Who have you got behind you just over here as well? It's Viking. What is that? <laughs> a massive buffet. We've got the hog roast going on just over there. Brilliant. <laughs> Great station in here, loads to look at. It's actually a wooden station building as well, built with all these logs, which is really cool. Hey, Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Less than a 10 minute wait there, and we're off on Thor's Hammer. Yeah, all the staff in the different themed areas have all got their own outfits on, which is very cool. Fitting in with the theme, which is fantastic. We are looking forward to this. Love a good curse loud bob in the trees. Here we go. Steep drop to get us started. Oh, there's Jubilin again. What a ride. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, fantastic these are. I'd still like to see one of these at Blackpool Pleasure Beach called Wild Mouse. Whoa! Whee! Fantastic. Oh, they got pedlos over there. I can see part of the water park. Whoa! Not much braking on this one. This is good. <laughs> oh, he licked, he licked, he licked, hey! I got close to the nettles then, and then he got stung. Woo! Head chopper. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Oh, over the water into another he licked, he licked, he licked. Double he licked. Hello? Double he licked. Oh. Double he <laughs> That's great, that. Oh. Fantastic, I think that might be the same layout as the one at Trips Trail. It's hard to tell though without the theme in. Yeah, that was very good. Really liked that. Well, that was really good fun. Fantastic layouts, especially this section. Hey, coming out over the water. Then yeah, into the helix downward and then helix upward. Yeah, brilliant. I am loving this park so far. I knew that it was gonna be nice, but I'm just really enjoying it, like the ambience of it. It's just really nice, isn't it? It's got loads of audio as well, which I like. Yeah, yeah it adds to the experience. You know, I love music at parks. I know, yeah, it's me. We yeah, have this little area here. You know, little ice cream shop, looking out over the water. Oh, it is gorgeous. Got these nice Viking themed towers just here as well. The ones where you pull yourself up and then drop down. And over here, we've got a pirate ship to go on. Yeah, looking forward to this. Nice swinging ship. Are you coming on? No, <laughs> you're gonna stay off. All right, yeah, you wait down here. You got a load of nice seating areas, which is good. Watch them on the boat. See you in a minute. And I head on the pirate ship just over here. It's actually over water as well. I like it when they're over the water. Oh, yes. Looks like quite a high swinger, this one. Everything's just pretty much walk on or less than a 10 minute wait. Really good. Oh, here we are. On the Viking ship. Whoa, whoa, it's a good one there. It's getting a good airtime. No mess about with the operations. Sending it straight out. Really good. Woo! Oh, it's a good one. There's the canoes down there. And yeah, you can see the water park over in the distance, the water slides they've got here. Yeah, I think it's all just connected up to the theme park. Hey, I mean, it's a nice day today, but so I think it's good, kind of, you know, water park weather. <laughs> I like this over the water, though, it's good. Hey, that was really good, and from one flat ride to another now, look at this, the screaming, the loving it. 
Got the spinning pot ride just there. Should we go on here, shall we? Give you a spin round. And we're heading round to the new dinosaur area next. And we'll have a little mooch of the water park as well. Hey, here we go. You're right there, Charlotte. Yeah. Hey. It's good. I like how the operator. Oh, God. It's like a proper big flat ride, this. The operator, she's got a snake round her neck. Yeah. Hey. God, you don't really need to spin it much. It is it itself this time. Yeah. You're right, Charlotte. No. You're a little bit tipsy. Yeah. Oh, it does it itself. I'm not even touching it. It does it itself. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I don't think you see the operator on the camera at all, but she's got a massive snake round her. She's loving it, she's laughing at you, I think. <laughs> Wee! There is another little flat ride next door, but it's not open. It's like a spinning regatta ride. Oh, I'm not even touching it. I'm doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I love the flats. <laughs> she's loving it. <laughs> Wow, what was up with it? It was too fast. Yeah, it was. It was like a waltzer. Yeah, it was like a waltzer, that one. But uh, here we go. As much as we're discovering this part for the first time today, this is their brand new area for 2022. It's the Dinosaur Land. And yeah, you've got the big play area just here and a nice Mac power coaster just over there at the back. Loads of dinosaurs around. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a T Rex family coaster. And yeah, just around to the right here, that's where you make your way into the water park. Got the pizza and pasta buffet just over there. Yeah, the water park got quite a few slides by the looks of it. And you just walk in just over there. It's all part of the same admission, I think, which is interesting, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah, especially with the temperature. I mean, it seems a bit warmer now, but yeah, still, it's warmer now. you know, I don't know about being in a swimming pool like, and it's still, you know, about 20 degrees. I'll tell you what, this theming looks good. It's nice that this park is continuing with the heavy theming. I mean, you look at the station building there for this new power coaster, it's very high quality. love the look of the train design for this ride and yeah here we go we've got this very high quality animatronic here in the queue line as well you always tell the high budget when you look at the movement of them like not clunking around i look at how this is moving really cool yeah his eyes just blinking and moving around as well very nice animatronic that Jurassic Park. Oh. I do like how many supports there is on these new Mac power coasters. Hey. I think he goes faster on the second lap, or at least I hope so. There's the water park. Playful. Woo! Hey, he's got his bones. Wave your bones in the air. There we go. Hey! Oh, that's better. Yeah, so it's all part of the storyline. Show you the dinosaurs and go a bit faster. Hey! Whoa! Woo! Hey, that's bad. I love the Zero car. It's like a big cone. And also it's got two lights on the front. Hey! And there you go, T-Rex family coaster. That was good. Big bones. There's an overall package, that was very good. I liked how it told you a story through the onboard audio, which was nice. Yeah, I preferred the second lap though, it was much faster. Yeah, I do like it when you get going a bit quicker on there. But yeah, uh, yeah it's not a bad layout for that. It's not my favorite power coaster or anything, uh, but I do like this dinosaur area. Uh, it's lovely how they've done it, and obviously when all the trees and landscaping grow. Yeah, it'd be even nicer. What have we got now then, Charlotte? 
the largest dinosaur shop in Denmark. Yeah, here we go. They've actually built it up on the map. Yeah, so let's uh, go and check it out inside here. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, look at this. Here it is, the largest dinosaur shop in Denmark. Yeah, <laughs> actually says that on the map as well. Yeah, nicely themed. I like all the little bits at the top there. Those are cuddly dinosaurs. Yeah, it's actually quite big. Goes all around here. Dinosaur land merch over here as well. Yeah, very well done all the theming. Yeah, it was a nice ride that one. Nothing spectacular, but yeah, it was still good fun. Family coaster. Oh, oh, outside the shop just here now. We've got a little friend. <laughs> As if he actually scared you there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this area is very well done. All the flooring and everything. Loads of little details around. Yeah, you got Dino Expedition, the little Jeep ride over there. The key for that looks pretty big, actually. So probably give that a miss for now. Maybe do it later on. Yeah, 30 minutes just for the little Jeep ride. But yeah, the park is busy, but uh, all the queues haven't been too bad. I mean, that's the biggest queue on park if we'd have joined that. Um, but yeah, this area is lovely. And we've got a Wild West area just around the corner with yet another water ride. And this time it's a Rapids. Hey, overall though, I'm loving this park, Charlotte. Yeah, you having a good day? Yeah, it's nice. The weather's not like baking hot like it is back home. But yeah, it's just all right. At least it's not cold like last time. Love this, the big open fires just in the middle of the park. Like, can you imagine that back home? No safety barrier around or anything. Uh, this is lovely. And you've got these little wooden horses as well that you can sit on around here in the Wild West area. Yeah, it's lovely. Dodgems over there. It reminds me a little bit of Far West at Port Aventura with the buffaloes. In fact, they are buffaloes as well. Yeah, a little mine cars. The theming here, exceptional. It's really good. Much better than what I was expecting. Yeah, this park, blown away by it, I really am. There's a way swing around here, just going up over there. All the staff go around on these golf carts as well. Like all your mate and staff, we. Yeah, this is lovely. Really nice park. Beautiful afternoon now, and there you go, the way swinger. Goes backwards as well. There's not many of these out there. I've seen a couple. We're well, yeah, quite rare to see the ones that go backwards. And it's also got the water jets up there as well. This Wild West town is beautiful around here. The Coca-Cola tower there in the middle. Yeah, I do like a good Wild West theme. This is fantastic. It's really nice. Yeah, lots of different food options around here as well. And yeah, the Rapids is just down that way, I think. Are you ready? <laughs> Lots of dining in this area. I mean, there's lots of food options throughout the park. But yeah, here I've noticed the Wild West area's got the most. They've got quite a few of these all-you-can-eat buffets here as well throughout the park. Ben and Jerry's off to the right. This looks busy, big queue, nice day. I think it's really hot for them today here in Denmark, 20 degrees. What's it say, 25 minutes? The Rio Grande rafting. Looking forward to this though. A massive slide over there, Charlotte, as well. Look at the size of that. Only anyway, waited about 15, 20 minutes or so there. Not too bad. And yeah, look at the indoor turntable just here with all the theming inside. Following on the theme of this park, really. Are you ready, Charlotte? No, I'm not. You don't the look boat impressed. Is yeah, this boat looks pretty wet, doesn't it? But and here that's we go. Me oh, I said, yeah, we got straight on, didn't we? Quite quick no, there. Didn't have time. Yeah, no mess about <laughs> on the rapids. <laughs> yeah, we're having a good time here so far. I do really like this park. Staff are really good. Operations are great. Nice mix of rides. We've still got one coaster left to do as well. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a big wave on that side. Big wave. Oh, no. oh water effects. Oh, it's on my back. Oh, oh, all down my back. Oh, I missed them all. You missed it, didn't you? Oh. Yeah, to be honest, it looks a bit of a lazy river in places, this. But I think there is a few water effects that might get us. Oh, that's it. She's got. You seem whip that out, Charlotte. I needed to. Come on, no mess. Oh, I got a drop coming up here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're going straight in. It's coming through this gap here, I think. Oh, no, look at this. Oh, God. Oh, oh, keep your feet up on this one. Oh, that's why. That's why. No open fire. Yeah, the open fire. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Just avoided that. Oh, you got the little. <laughs> you got the nice cantina over there. Very nice. I've really thought about a lot of the seating areas looking out over the rides, which is cool. 
He's been saying it's a lazy river, it's got going fast now. Look at this. Oh my god. Woohoo! That's it. Oh, water effects on the side. Watch out, watch your head. Oh! oh my god! Oh, water effects, brilliant. Oh, it's a big one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Another low one just there. Oh, it's right in my face if that goes off. Oh, we just avoided it. All right. <laughs> Into the tunnel now. It's quite a good rapids, actually. Better than I was expecting when we were watching it. You're right there, Charlotte. No. <laughs> we're in the dark now. Can't see anything. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Oh, I remember when we used to have waterfalls back on the Congo. Yeah. Not no. allowed that, no fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a breath of fresh air when you come to these parks abroad. It's it is really nice. Quite a long ride actually as well. Just what Charlotte wants. Nice long water yeah, ride. Just like, oh. <laughs> what we got here? Some little bumps. Choppy Sean is choppy. Choppy seas. Whee! We're getting some good crowd noise from the rest of the boat as well. We're getting some whoa, some oh, some wheeze. Oh, that looks choppy, that does, Charlotte. That looks really choppy. Here it comes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, it's all right. Oh, it looks choppy. Hold on tight, folks. Whee! It's quite slow, actually, around here. Oh, I might come in the boat. Oh, feet up! <laughs> oh, it's a soaker. you got to keep your feet up on this thing. That's it, round here, end of the ride. Yeah, it was quite good, that was quite a long ride. Not a big soak or anything. I mean, we've got, it's got a few sprinkles. The boat's soaked. Yeah, the boat's so Yeah, it's your feet while you get wet on that one. Oh, just like them. <laughs> on ride footage there from the rapids. And yeah, it was quite good. More about the effects on that one. Oh, there was way too many water effects in my life. <laughs> there was lots going on. There was things squirting us on the sides. There was a big blast. Scared me, that massive yeah, blast on there. Wasn't expecting it. That's the thing where you're not seeing POVs and don't really know what's coming up. Exactly. You know, went in completely blind with that one. I had no idea. And it was okay. It was more about the theming and effects on that one exactly, than anything. Yeah. But uh, anyway, like we said back at the start of the vlog, there's eight coasters here. We've done seven. We've got one left over here. It's another little Zera Force coaster. So yeah, we're going to go and give this one a go now. <laughs> so it's like a little farmyard themed area. You got the bouncing pigs and the bouncing frogs just over there. And this nice little pond here with loads of nice seating. Yeah, it's lovely. And yes, you bring your own food and you can cook it in the park. Yeah, they've got like barbecues and you can cook them on there. That's it's fantastic. Here we go. The entrance is just here on the left hand side. The wild chicken hunt. There's actually a chicken at the front with a fox chasing the chicken. Between a 10 to 15 minute wait for this one. And yeah, let's uh, go and see what this ride's like. <laughs> in the air here in the farm bye bye Woo. up we go it's gonna be a two lap special We've got some big tomatoes down there <laughs> don't know why i said that american yeah got a few other little flat lorries around here for the kids Whoa. here we go back row Whoa. i feel sorry for that poor chicken in the front i really do Worst thing here, there's all chickens in the station and they know the fate, the fox is going to get them. A couple more little drop towers over there. Lovely little park. Really is. There they all are, they know their fate. And look at this, they've even got baggage hooks and coat hooks in the station. There they are. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, she's waving a spade at me. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised he didn't get hit on the head by a spade. Round number two on our eighth and final coaster. It's not even three o'clock yet. We've done so much here. We've got plenty of time for re-rides and get a few more bits in. Woo! Hey, mini donuts over there. I like the sound of that. Oh, mini donuts. We did have a nice cream actually. I didn't film it, but yeah, we had an ice cream that was nice. Expensive, but nice. Hey, very smooth. Enjoyable family coaster. There we go. We haven't been stung. All eight credits we got today Yay! at this park. Eight's a lot to get. Fantastic. Nice little family coaster that was. You got a tractor ride over here as well. There's a spinning barn just over there. A bit like Toby's that's in Thomasland at Drayton Manor. 
loads of rides here for all the family. And then you got the duck ride over here as well. I like the eggs in the middle. Little duck ride. It's not one that you operate yourself though, like at uh, Warbeck in the Netherlands, where we stopped it by accident. Remember that? <laughs> right, we're going on the train ride now. We've just seen it coming round, so we're trying to find the station. We think it's somewhere around here. Oh, have you led us in the wrong direction? Oh, Charlotte. Here we go, round this corner and to the left. That's it, I'll let you off. It's our first time coming. Just managed to get round here and get on the train. Pirate land over there. Feels like ages since we was in that land this morning. It's a great layout for this park. It really is. I love how, you know, you're walking through the entrance, you've got two big areas off to the side, and the park just expands out backwards. Yeah, it's really nice. Love that overbank turn there, look at that. Oh, wild Asia. <laughs> so proud of Charlotte for going on that earlier, Tiger and so much green space in this park too, which is great. Oh, they got a little pony track ride just over there. So yeah, we just stopped at the Wild West station. Obviously we're doing the full loop round. I like doing that when we come on these trains for the first time. I've got a push chair when you come into this park. You can bring them on the train as well. Put them in the special Push chair carriage. Yeah, I love that. So you got the big volcano at the back, you have to climb up, and then if you're lucky enough to get to the top, you come down the slide. First time we ever did one of those was at Toverland actually in the Netherlands. And there's loads of trampolines here as well. Into the tunnel, choo choo. There's actually three stations all the way around. There's another one in the Vikings area close to Thor's Hammer. Oh, and there's Juvelin just over there as well. Oh, it was a great ride. Can't wait to get back on there. It's so hidden away, isn't it, as well? Like, that's the tallest point of the ride, really, just on the left. Really terrain-hugging ride. Absolutely fantastic, that was. Yeah, got a few more flats to do this afternoon as well. Get some more park footage. I'm also going to be filming some nice 4K on-ride POVs as well without my lovely commentary. So yeah, they will be coming up later this year here on the channel. We've got a busy summer of vlogs now. We obviously, I always film a lot of POVs for separate videos, and they'll be coming up over winter as well. You get a little salute from all these here, look at this. <laughs> hey. All the staff here are fantastic, I love it. They all like the happy, having a good time, and that really adds to the park ambience. Well, we had a wonderful ride round there on the train here at Jers on this gorgeous afternoon. And then we come straight over and we just had two more rides in about 15 minutes on Pirateton. And I tell you what, that coaster has warmed up ridiculously. We knew that it would do. But yeah, I tell you what, it's so much faster. And I will take you on right near the end of the vlog with another POV. That was really intense, that one. Oh, crazy. Really, it really has warmed up. We had a front row and then right near the back. Yeah, it makes a huge difference, doesn't it, once it's warmed up? I always say this with coasters. But yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. Honestly, what a coaster. I'm going to take you on this flat ride over here now. So really, we've done the major rides now here at the park. We're going to go around and do a few flat, a few smaller bits. And a few re-rides and stuff. Yeah, definitely film some 4K POVs and just soak up the atmosphere of the park. But yeah, I'll take you on this now, just over here. Hey, here we go. Nice little girth. Yeah, I do like these. And yeah, it's really important for a park to have supporting flat rides. They've got plenty of them here at Jers. And look at the speed of this. Oh my God, wow. God, it's a fast one. <laughs> it's a great pops of our time. Whoa! Great views there. On the Intimate Mega Light as well. Great to get on there. And it live up to the hype as well. This whole park exceeded expectations. And yeah, we're absolutely loving it. Just gone four o'clock. Yeah, we've still got four hours left to get re-rides in. 
get some more flat rides in, have more of a look around the rest of the park. And yeah, just soak up the atmosphere. Hey, this is great fun. And it's well themed as well. Shows you what you can do. I mean, something like this at Alton Towers even. Basically every park you go to that's got nice flats now. I'm thinking, come on Alton Towers, let's see you do it. This is a small, quite regional park really compared to the Merlin parks. And you know, it's so much better. It's just the atmosphere. It's a breath of fresh air when you come to places like this. It really is. Fantastic. Way back around here in Mexican land then now and you got Speedy Gonzalez just here. Little dinghy slides as well. Just your standard dinghies, but yeah, nicely themed around here at the side. And up next it's time for a theme park worldwide favourite just over there. Massive trampoline bouncy castle, inflatable. Charlotte's off. <laughs> hey, <there> she is. <laughs> Straight down. There you go. Let's give you a bounce about it, Charlotte. <laughs> These are great things. The only rules are take your shoes off. I said, oh, the red. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> She's getting rolling down. <laughs> Great fun, this. <then>. Oh. <laughs> Happy summer. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Why are you doing this big dance for? <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, I've gone down. Yeah, I'm on the floor. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good fun. I'm absolutely shattered now. Here we go. Then we're off on Sol Gooden, just over here. Promise me that he's going to keep the lead up so we won't get one. Yeah, you won't get one on here. <laughs> or so she thinks. Oh. Here we go then. Only about a five minute wait and we're on. Onboard sound. It's got a big speaker here. There you go. Woo. <laughs> I don't know what the song is, but it's very catchy in the distance. Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> oh no, it was the lever that broke, that was. Oh no, it was the lever. <laughs> it was definitely the lever that was, viewers, honestly. It was the lever. <laughs> oh, this is shot, I'm so sorry. Oh, the lever, it's just too what it wants, this thing. I don't know what it's doing. What's this music that's playing as well? Oh, oh no! Oh god! Oh, oh no! Oh. Sorry Charlotte, I'll let you have control of the lever now. There you go. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you, Charlotte? I wasn't impressed with that. <laughs> I tell you what, though, we just had a front row ride on Jewelvalin. Oh, so good! Absolutely amazing that coaster. And we're here at the big volcano now. Charlotte's going straight up. This is the content that you want to see, folks. We don't just bring your POVs on this channel. It's the volcano. Come on, you got to give it a run up. That's why. Here we go. Hey, if you get to that first one, there we go. Oh, she is laughing. You get to the top, and there's a slide on the other side of this one. But yeah, we're having an absolutely brilliant day here at this park. Love Denmark, love parks over here. And oh, down she comes. Oh, be careful. Is that it? Oh no, Charlotte's done. Let me see if I can have a go. Right, so he's trying without his shoes on. I think this is the way I, I think you get a better stick. Here we go. Go. <laughs> oh, he's getting there. That's the way to do it. No socks. Let's go and watch him come down. He's done it. He's done it. Oh, I heard my feet coming down there. Great boy. I did it. That's how you do it, folks. Socks off if you're doing the volcano. We are the champions, my friends. There you go. It was good fun that was. <laughs> Shots on the little trampolines here. All for free, including the admission. It's good, I, I love these parks and all the little games that they have. They're gonna do a few more rides now, get a few more re-rides in as well. Here it's just Summerland. I thought I'm not even gonna bother showing you the forwards POV on this one. You know what it's like, it's just a standard way swinger. But here we go, we're off backwards now. Hey, <laughs> really nice romantic double seat there just are. here. Feeling the love in Denmark. Dodgem's over there as well, the buffaloes. Yeah, this Wild West area, all the buildings are great. And it smells really nice around here as well because of all the open fires. But yeah, it's quite unique, isn't it, see these? You imagine this back over like crazy. <laughs> well, it gets closer as this chair going backwards. <laughs> here it comes. Whoa! 
<laughs> Literally feel like I'm back at Port Aventura. Here we go, you got the buffaloes over here. Then you got the mini ones just over that side for the kids there as well. There you go. Get on the buffaloes. And we're off on the buffaloes, where is she? Oh! Yeah, they're only slower these ones, but still, good fun. I like these dodgems that are powered from underneath though. Look a lot better than having the big stick on. Oh, can we get them? Oh, buffaloes. We're bumping into a lot of, oh, you got me. Bumping into a lot of empty cars on this one. They've not moved them ones. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> Where's she gone? I got, oh, she's over there. I can see her. Oh, no, we missed her. Buffalo. Buffalo wings. Oh, right, we got her. Here she is, buffalo wings. Oh, hey. oh it smells so good around here. Oh, they were good fun. You gotta love a good Dodgems. Yeah, I know. Yeah, great ride, especially when the theme's of buffaloes. Uh, anyway, we're going on another ride now over here in the dinosaur themed area. It's the uh, expedition ride now. Yeah, I can't wait for this. Had a massive queue earlier on. It looks about five minutes or so now, so much quieter than it was before. It may even have a little dark ride scene at the back, so but we've got to give it a go, because there isn't actually any full dark rides at this park. Here we go then, we wait about 10 minutes. Charlotte's driving us here on our dino expedition. Oh, I think we've got a water effect over here. Something's coming in. Is that? Oh, the floor's wet. I think we might get something. Air uh, will open again in 2022. Excavation started. Oh, I think we've avoided it. We're all right. We're safe, Charlotte. That one in front got it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the coaster might be going round because I think we interact quite a bit with the Mac. Oh, we're going through a marquee. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we're entering the excavation site. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a little dark ride scene over here. The Dino Reserve. The only place on earth to see living dinosaurs. Here we go. Well, there's the maintenance shed. Ooh. A big T-Rex around this corner, I think, Charlotte. Make sure you don't steer us around there. Oh my God, King Kong's in here, look at that. Huge animatronic. Wow. Oh, this is really nice. Nice long ride, this is. There's a look again at the Mac. Oh, here it comes. Oh, lovely timing. Fantastic. The T-Rex family coaster. And yeah, obviously this has got onboard audio as well. Nice to see the park thinking about that. Look at the little babies down here. Oh, thank you, aren't they? It's massive, this ride. It goes all the way down here. And I think there's another dark ride team around the corner. Wow, look at him. Into the baby dino care area. Another small little scene. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, this is what we looked at through the shop earlier on. Because you could see the ride through the window. On ride photo there. Yeah, nice preview of the merch that <laughs> we saw earlier. We go. We've just done a couple more re-rides actually after our little dinosaur tour around there. And you know what? It's been so nice having plenty of time at this park for our first visits. It's been busy enough for an atmosphere, but it's not been too much either, yeah, has it? Loads, Absolutely loads. We yeah, enjoyed the dinosaur jeep ride. Yeah, it was really nice, it? It's long. It was. I had another ride on Tiger and the big gyro swing. Yeah. 
and then along with that we've got a front row just over on this inverted coaster. Yeah, really light on the front. Yeah, it's a nice 4K POV for you, so that'll be coming up. But yeah, just gonna get our final couple of rides in now, and I'm gonna take you on for one more ride. We've only had one POV from it at the start of the day. It's warmed up so much. We've not been on it still for a few hours. Of course, Pyroton. I think now it's gonna be absolutely flying. So yeah, we'll take you on again. There she goes, the absolute beast, and I tell you what, this thing is really gonna have warmed up even more from earlier on. It's been operating all day, and yeah, let's go and have a ride on Pyroton. We're right on the back, here on Pyroton, here we go. What a way to end an epic day, our first ever time at this park, right on the back row. I'm looking forward to this, it's gonna whip us down. <laughs> Here we go! Woo -hoo -hoo! Whoa! Whoa! Oh wow! It's nearly grey out there! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Ready for some ejector! You can feel the airtime on the GoPro. Woo! Oh, wow. Packed with airtime. And Charlotte's here swallowing a fly. Oh, God. You're right there, Charlotte, after the fly oh incident. Oh, my yeah. God. I swallowed a fly. <laughs> oh, no. But uh, tell you what, that had warmed up so much since earlier on. I know. It's Absolutely really crazy. It's an intense ride, that really is. Really intense. Brilliant. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we actually managed to go and sneak back to Jubal and have another ride on that. Another one that warms up. And I tell you what, I think that's the star attraction of the park. That's my favourite ride here. I really like the it. The quad bike train design so on there is awesome. It is. Don't get me wrong, I love Pirates, and that's an airtime machine. It's a monster. But they're two top tier rides. Along with that, Tiger Room was great. The water coaster. There's some really good rides oh, here. I mean, I've been wanting to come here for years. Can't believe it took this long to get here, to be honest. I'm not disappointed at all. What a year to do it, though, during our 10 year anniversary of Theme Park Worldwide. We've been to some great parks this year, and this place, absolutely phenomenal really really enjoyed it great ride selection staff are fantastic staff operations are, really are great uh, everything about this place i couldn't fault it at all no, i think it's 100%. fantastic in terms of where i'd like to see them go in, a in the future as much as they've got eight coasters none of them actually go upside down no, they don't, so maybe an inverted one yeah great. i think a coaster with inversions would be fantastic here in the future um you know but maybe you know that isn't what they need it shows that this park it doesn't need that no it doesn't no. you know it's like dark rides yes they would be nice however they've got such a great range of attractions here anyway and um, that it doesn't even lack dark rides to be honest no like you don't come here thinking oh i wish it was dark rides it's just got so many great attractions There's so much going on everything it's brilliant the new dinosaur area we liked as well bear in mind you have got the water park here uh, if you are coming and want to experience that and something that we didn't mention this morning was to get from the car park to the entrance you come down this little walkway yeah, into the forest do, which is quite nice it's lovely it really is it's a fantastic park one of my favorites in europe once again really really enjoyed absolutely it absolutely fantastic thanks again to the park for having us so on ride povs as well which has been great and i filmed some great um 4k povs that will be coming up soon from some of the big rides here as well but uh absolutely awesome it's been a great day tomorrow we're making our way back to far up summerland it was freezing cold oh, last can't time wait to be there when it's warmer and phoenix we enjoyed it but we thought that maybe because it was so cold it was running a little bit slower it's gonna be warmer tomorrow it's yeah good. fingers crossed so we should be in for a good ride there with the next vlog coming up again with lots of on ride povs before we make our way to another new park for us which will be Bonbon Land. Oh, I can't wait, I don't know what to expect. In Denmark. But uh, there we go, thanks for joining us. Fantastic park, 10 out of 10 from us, we loved it. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep on riding. riding. See you soon.